All right, gang, gang, we back once again, and this is definitely going to be one of my favorite episodes. We are building a disused, renovated brewery slash distillery slash place they used to make beer and stuff. First thing I'm going to do is lay a rail line right down the middle, even before I lay my road network. But don't worry, it's disused, there's no trains, and I'm going to dead end some of this broken grid up against the train line. I'm also going to add a bike path and a park fence. We're going to turn that into something nice. I'm building everything up with these city keys. So we done ran out of flat space, so we have to start building up. So I thought this would be like a nice little entrance area. Look at that. Look at that journey to this uh, disused industrial area. They probably used to get all types of beer money. Now they just get that rent money. They charge people an arm and a leg for these swanky apartments. They charge you the price of one Asian baby to move in. That's what it's going to cost. Finish up some of this grid, and y'all see the assets. It's the Industrial Evolution Pack, the Dance Revolution Pack. That's what we're using. I'm going to Rico the ones that I use into residential buildings. Though I'm going to keep some of them as industrial assets for future stuff, though. So imagine in your mind each one of these little complexes that you see me building. They used to handle a different part of the beer, wine, spirit making process. Maybe one building worked with the yeast. Another building might have did the bottling, the logistics, the shipping stuff. You know, all of the little buildings kind of did day one little job. And now they one job is to house rich dentists and lawyers. They be driving Teslas. They talk about quinoa all the time. They listen to way too much Rogan. I'm not hating on you, though, player. Get your paper. I'm just giving you somewhere to live. And actually, I'm going to use a couple of these assets and turn them into office spaces. We're going to have some shops. Little butcher shop, little bistro activity jumping off. I don't want you to have to leave, man. You, especially if you're paying this high dollar rent, you shouldn't have to leave. You leave if you want to. But we got all the little, the little knickknacks that you might need to get you through your day. And it's not just doctors and lawyers up in here. We got normal folks like my man right here or dude right here. He look like he listen to jazz real loud and be in the strip club with rolls of quarters. He needs somewhere to live, too. He needs somewhere to work, too. So we're going to take this one building that I just laid down and we're going to Turn that into actually an office asset but i'm gonna still put some big tanks out back they used to do something else they used to make that beer we're gonna lay out this bus line or extend it i mean so people can just jump on that bus line and y'all can see folks starting to move in but i also did notice that somebody's sick <laughs> So that lets me know I must have missed one of the buildings and definitely I did look that brown one right there. That's not Rico. That's still an industrial building. So we're going to go ahead and change that. I'm glad I caught that though, man, because people will move out. I think they might can even die from that. I don't know. I ain't never let it go too long. I be having my Watch It mod always activated so I can catch them little icons as they pop up. So we're going to go ahead and add some folk up in here. I know y'all happy. I'm happy too. We looking good. We getting there. Got 12 up in here. Let's detail. One of my favorite tricks when I have a little corner space like this is I'll lay out a commercial asset, then I'll copy it with PO, and I'll put the other one on the other side of the corner. So now I got like a little dual entrance, man. And we can turn this spot right here, this little side, into a cafe. Lay out some umbrellas on some tables, couple planters. Get that on out of here, man. We done with that. I'm also going to put some of these signs I got off the workshop. They're like distillery signs, you know. This is who used to own it. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out this butcher shop because I definitely feel like these people would be eating that, that free range, that farm to table activity. So that's what we're doing.
So I was looking on the workshop trying to find some cobblestone streets that I liked. I didn't find any. So I ended up using some decals that I downloaded by my boy Ronix right here to make my own. And it took me a little bit longer than I would have liked to, but I was copying. So I did cut some of the time off and it be warned it only works in areas that are flat if you try to put these on a hill it'll disappear and i also wanted to again taking advantage of these little spaces that i left looking weird like this with the broken streets i felt like this was the perfect opportunity for some commercial assets man we got one functional commercial asset and i'm gonna use some props to make me like a little laundromat little barber shop got the quantum spirit so they selling liquor they keeping the vibe going they're keeping the spirit of the area alive they got that liquor for you we're gonna lay this out but this is one of my favorite things about cities it's building a thing within a thing within a thing you know this is my downtown area this is the distillery in that area and this is little commercial assets and scenes going on within that and that's like one of my favorite things to do down here on this corner i want to use this little pizza slice building right here it's not a perfect corner but i'm gonna jug it watch how i finesse it i'm gonna lay down one of these terraforming networks on this side smooth all that down now look we got a we got a double side it shopping experience man you can get you some stuff on this side you can walk around you can get some stuff on the back side don't don't let this shrubbery and this foliage fool y'all though this gonna be like a little hood store i don't care how nice the area is i always gotta build me a little space where where would i stand where would i be at with my homeboys smoke cigarettes talking that jive where would we be we'll be down here right here in front of this little eatery kicking it Talking to the grill man. Boy, y'all ain't got no grill man. That's my special sauce. I made it with pork and bean juice. Hey man, if you from the hood, you already know. But if you ain't from the hood and you ever see a black person cooking on a grill on the side of the road, take some advice from Red Kool-Aid, pull over. That plate gonna be hit. lot of detailing but it's gonna be worth it for them cinematics to look like every piece of this little area is lived in or walked on i love that last week we skipped out because it was kind of a shorter episode but this week i definitely got to hit y'all off with a new episode of that hidden legacy my boy john francis out here looking dusty and weird and he tripping this nigga is shooting white people in the 1800s boys you crazy they will put your black ass in a tree John Francis had become a mere shadow of his former self, a hollow reflection of the man he once was. He found himself seeking refuge in a series of dimly lit brothels and run-down flop houses, accompanied only by a fellow wanderer he'd crossed paths with, a man by the name of Charles. However, their tenuous existence was perpetually marred by the ominous pursuit of figures that could only be presumed as relentless bounty hunters or determined authorities, set on delivering justice for the lives John had taken. Amid this chaos, he attempted to maintain a connection with his beloved Abigail, sending letters that went unanswered. The rendezvous point he had meticulously set up for their reunion remained devoid of her presence, leaving him with an overwhelming sense of isolation. One fateful night, as John and Charles hatched a desperate plan to rob a couple outside a gambling house, the story took an abrupt turn. A swift, brutal blow from a blackjack struck John from behind, plunging him into unconsciousness. He awakened to find he and Charles bound to a chairs within the confines of a dank and foreboding cellar. Surrounding him were an assembly of ominous figures, an unsettling congregation of men who exuded an air of malevolence. Among them stood a figure distinct from the rest, a woman of raven hair and chilling allure. With an air of authority, she advanced towards John. 
Her voice cut through the tense silence as she informed him that he had encroached upon her domain. Never before had he encountered a woman who commanded such respect, who held dominion over a world as perilous as this. She spoke of a vacancy she needed to fill, a position left vacant by a recent loss of a trusted man. The truth struck like a cold gust of wind. Both he and Charles were superfluous in her grand design. In a chilling, swift motion, she produced a barber razor from her possession and, without hesitation, drew it across Charles' throat, crimson life seeping forth. The act was both a demonstration of her power and a macabre invitation. Amid the blood-soaked horror, the raven-haired woman handed off the stained instrument to one of her enigmatic followers. Turning towards the exit, she cast a final glance over her shoulder, her cold beauty etched into John's memory. Her parting words hung in the air like an ominous decree, you start tomorrow. The tale unfurls further in the subsequent chapter of Hidden Legacy, the saga of Rivergate. It's going all bad for my boy right now, man. This girl done ran off. R.I.P. my man Charles. Jesus Christ, they gave you one episode. You ain't had no lines, bro. Like, wow. You know, they just did you dirty. But anyway, we're going to use this last little pad right here to make a little custom park across the street from it. We're gonna turn those little buildings that look like little warehouses, we're gonna turn those into some shops. I went through a lot of the assets. Uh, there were you know, vanilla assets that come on the DLCs or whatnot. Is that vanilla if it's on a DLC? I don't know. But I went through the assets. I couldn't find nothing that fit the space. I really wanted to fit that space. And the parks that are really big have the stupid high entertainment value. You got goofies jumping on a train coming from Rockdale and Lake Valley. I don't want none of them over here. I, I want to build something for the people that live up in this area. So I'm going to build the park and I'm going to use some really small PPGs to make people come to the park, man. You know, it's, the entertainment value on them little tiny PPGs is mad small. So we're just going to deck this out, make it look dope. You standing up there, you, you eating your falafel. You overlooking the, the, the whole city. Or you can jump over here, man. You can go to the vape shop and get you some cotton candy smoke juice and you calm down bro you blowing kiwi in my face right now what we doing also put a grocery store down the rest of it's just signs and props y'all see it but it looked good though the last thing i wanted to do is i the distillery signs came with this kind of distillery sign but it doesn't have any like poles to it i think you're supposed to put this between two buildings i looked for a place i couldn't find a place that i thought was dope and I remember that little entrance area you could use a little bit of love. So let's put that right there. And I'm going to put a bigger version of it on top of this giant building right here. So like maybe back in the day when the trains used to pull in, they used to be like, yo, we, we here, dog. We in the distillery district. We do here to do business. And then our people used to be like, yo, look, we got the beer. Y'all got the money. Let's do this, man. Same time play. I don't know you. Same time. I did record this cool little uh, progression shot so y'all can kind of see. I call this the start it from the bottom. Now we here shot. Here you go. It's nothing. Streets. Stuff. 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 Boom. It's looking like something now, man. We're going to expand it out a little bit more. Y'all don't worry. Cue them cinematics. 